So I saw this short that was like the cars going down a very fast hill, crashing into stuff. And I wanted to recreate that kind of in rec room with a bowling ball. But in order to do that, I had to get a camera that would follow behind the bowling ball, kind of like a third person camera type thing. And so I worked on it a little bit and then I had some help from ChatGPT, of course, because I'm getting stupider. And and this is what I came up with and it worked pretty good. You start off, we have an update receiver going to set transform. The target of the transform, this is the- Streaming camera point. So what we've got to do for the position, we're going to kind of go all the way through the wires. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to subtract. We're going to start with the position of the bowling ball, which is like the specific, you know, position that the ball is in, right? And then we're going to subtract from that the velocity normalized. So if this is the position of the ball. When we subtract from it, it's going to end up somewhere like here. Like, let's say if this ball is moving forward like this, it's going to have a velocity going this way or whatever direction that it's going. We're just normalizing that. And then right now, I think this is set to one, but this is how you would multiply. But basically what you're just saying is that by just subtracting this from the camera position, we're ending up back behind the camera somewhere. It's still kind of low, but if we increase this multiplier to four or five, whatever, it's just going to scale out. So we're just like, we're behind the ball and we're whatever multiplier you put in here. That's how far back it is from the ball. So we're behind the ball now. And then what we do is we add some verticality to it. So this is a vector zero, one, zero. So all we're doing is adding upward. And then this is a multiplier as well. So, you know, that's one up, we could go two up. And then that'll be, once we add those two vectors together, we end up, that's the position. So now we want the camera in this position, you know, back however many scalar of this you want, and then up however many scalar of that you want. And then for the rotation, we basically want it pointing. We want it pointing at the ball. So essentially all we're doing is we're subtracting the position of the streaming camera point from the position of the bowling ball. And once we subtract that vector, it, it ends up looking at the ball. And then I left the camera on, on default instant made it real glitchy. Of course, this only works while the thing is moving. Okay. So right now you can see. You can see the custom one, which it'll switch to is just, all right. So I'm on custom one now and since the ball's not moving, it's just pointing straight down. But if I knock into it and add some velocity, then it starts to follow it. So I guess we need a system that kind of like takes care of it when there is like no velocity or very little velocity. Right? So we get the magnitude of the velocity of the bowling ball. And if it's greater than 0.5 or whatever number you want to put here. Uh, if it's bigger than that, then we want it to set transform and then save this vector, the zero vector variable that just is exactly the same thing as the position that we put in, right? And then if that threshold isn't met, the 0 0.5, like if it, if it does stop, if it is still, then it'll just, instead of trying to use the new position because it's based on the velocity and, and in that instance, it's not moving because it's not moving. It's just going to use the previous position and, it's in it, and it, it looks pretty okay. So now it should, if I stop it, it should still kind of remain looking like behind it, you know? Yeah. So it should just kind of stop with it. Now when I touch this, There we go. Oh no, it's got those <laughs> paddles in it that don't let it go. I had to get rid of these because it never passes. <laughs> it always jumps off and then it falls through the floor. It don't even try. This doesn't take care of like authority or anything. So that might be a problem. I guess we can just run it on the room authority system. Maybe I'm trying to imagine like a situation where somebody's authority and then they leave, if they leave. This should probably be synced. Though. So now we're going to do me as velocity and me as position instead of the ball. So now I have the tag, which means I should be coming through here, which means it should be following me. Whoa. It's I guess because I'm on screen mode, I can only go forward, backward, and that's exactly where my velocity is going. So <laughs> it is working. It's like my velocity is going exactly that way.